Hello there and welcome back to the colony with Man and the Ants. So quite excitingly, as you may recognize from my right hand here, today we are going back into the gallery and we are playing Heart of the Emberstone, which is episode two of the gallery. So episode one was on my channel quite some time back these days, quite some time back. Um, it was very nice. It was very interesting. It was quite good looking, lots of things to play and fiddle around with. It was a bit short, which was my only real criticism of the last one. I only took two videos up last time, and about half of the second video was just essentially one big cutscene at the end where you got this magical hand from some weird being. Should I have watched the first part again to understand what was going on? No, I don't think so. So basically you start off on a beach type area, you're following your sister I think it is. You find some weird old hermit, you go downstairs and activate some alien device that he really thinks you shouldn't touch and then you probably shouldn't touch it because you start traveling into some weird location where this giant alien thing you said something about knowing your sister i think i, I don't know it messes you right up and cl closes your right hand in a block of stuff and it comes out like this so yeah so hold forward on the right stick aim hand to the desired location and release the stick so quite a standard teleport movement locomotion I'm hoping, at the beginning of the game, it did say it had lots of experimental forms of movement. So I'm hoping that it will allow us to... That's quite pretty, isn't it? That's quite pretty. I'm hoping it allows us to play around with the controls a little bit before we get too far into the game. So one giant leap we are going to play. This is the uh, chapter selection for the game, if you don't remember the first one, if you didn't see it. So you get a number of different cassettes based on different parts of the game. All right, then. So I'm quite excited about it. It's been a long time coming. I thought I played the game quite late anyway. So for the people that played the game when it first came out, it must have been hell of a wait. So this, I believe, is the platform we pretty much ended the last game on. Which we used to travel inside a giant sphere. Something like this. This is exactly where we left off. So we left the game off in here. The alien creature came out of that doorway up there and gave us this hand, and then he said we could use this hand to activate various powers and the such like. And this is the kind of weirdness that the game ended on last time. It had this giant wormhole that we travelled through, and that is exactly how the game ended. We travelled through the wormhole and it had some music that ended up being copyrighted because I spent a while just dancing along to it and had to cut it out of the video at the end. So yeah, so that's where the credits were. You travel through that tunnel for the rest of time as far as that particular game was concerned and the credits scrolled up during that part. Is that the giant alien? That's the giant alien that... Maybe it's the hand? What's that? Is that, thing, is that where it thinks the middle is? Eh, that's not far off. Can't hear you, mate. What? What? Are you, uh, are you talking to me? You just wave into an invisible audience. You're going to acknowledge me now? You've obviously locked me in here, which is a little bit mean. Are you genuinely monologuing to yourself? Can't teleport over there. Can't teleport anywhere apart from onto this thing. I'm assuming at any minute now something's gonna happen. What about the controls again? You can get your backpack out. Sort of like that. Remember that? I quite like that mechanic. That's where that's where your inventory was stored in your backpack. And that's nice. Oh, it's a bit of a mirror of ourselves. Little birdie. That's better. Birdie. It's actually a pretty good little bird, really, isn't it? That's, look at that. Look how good that is. That's class. Oh, hello. Okay. We'll turn around, shall we? We'll actually play the game, I guess. So where on earth are we? So before we do anything, hold the left trigger to activate your gauntlet telekinesis power. Before we do that, Ah, uses the left hand. That's freaking me right out to start with. Why can't I? 
I want to do graphics options. Go. So you aim with the left stick and it's A on the right pad. Medium? No, thank you. Oh, as he crashed it. No, there we go. We'll put it on the least high. Uh, game options, language player, play space type, stand in, stand in limited. Okay, that's what defaults do. I suppose we'll leave it at that. Grab distance, normal, help mode, locomotion, ah, locomotion type. Oh, it's a sick move. Sick move, son. Oh! Put it on sick move. Comfort turns, no thank you. Vection portal, don't know what that is. Blink options, I'm not going to use. Stick options. Movement speed 3, movement anchor controller. Axes mapping forward back. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Vection portal amount. Yeah, okay. Um, No! Well, that's fine, isn't it? No, it's not. Put that back to controller. Comfort turns, no thank you. Okay, back. Input options, blink mapping, consolidated. Okay, controller assignment, normal, grab item, trigger or grip. I'd like that to be the grip, please. Use item as trigger, that's perfect. And press menu button to exit. So I can't rotate. I can just go forwards and backwards. Which is a bit weird. Well, I would like to be able to rotate in the game if I could, to be honest. Uh, input options. Not that. Game options. Uh, okay, turns. How do I do turns? Head rotation portal amount. Forward back strafe. Floating forward back. Forward back strafe. Movement anchor. Hmm. So I can now put this. What is this? Oh, okay, that's my, my power. I would really like to be able to, to teleport, uh, to rotate. Really, 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 really would. It's got comfort turns. That's a thing. So does it either have comfort turns or no turns? That's what it is. You either have comfort turns or no turns. So if anyone from the development team does watch this, please change that to be either comfort turns or smooth rotation. That is a little bit frustrating. But it's better than it was previously. Previously, they didn't support any kind of... What is Vection Portal? I have no idea. What is Vection Portal? We'll leave it on, see what happens, I guess. Game Quest. Delete save. No. Do not do that. Okay, so. Let's... Go back in here very briefly, then. We will change the stick move options. The movement speed we'll put up to five. Vection Portal. Head rotation to portal. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. That seems a bit better. Not too fast, but not too slow. Okay then, so. I would like you to form some form of bridge, if you may. Perfect. Couldn't have gone any better. Oh, I see, we just move all this out of the way. That's all right. Whoa. Well, that's quite fun. Oh, dearie me. Maybe don't fling massive, massive rocks into your uh, into your face next time. What's this woman's name? You do play a lady, don't you? I think you do. Down you go. Cool. That works quite well, actually. I like the way that works. Quite happy with that. All right, chill out. Open. Open. Anything in the bag that might help? Nothing I can even pick up. All right. 
Are we? Ah, oh, right. Immediately seen it. That's what that noise was behind me. Oh, I do wish it had comfort turning. I do wish it had comfort turning. It's the only thing that's kind of letting it down a little bit at the moment. No, come over here. How'd you bring it back? Oh, there we go. That's kind of work. Perfect. Perfection. Uh. Oh, that's nice. I like that. I like that a lot. Oh, it's loading. Wonder what's happening then. So I'm guessing we will not see crazy hermit man. There's a chocolate raisin on the carpet. I should probably pick that up before I walk it into the floor. Put that on the table. Beautiful. Reset my headset, which is a bit wonky. All right then. So here we are. The end of that tunnel. Hello. Well, it's definitely doing something, isn't it? Makes my hand go invisible. Uh, if you could just go down there, mate. That'd be perfect. Thank you very much. Can't move at all now. I'm liking all this so far. This is working out quite nice. Hello. Hello, big boy. That's our sister. I know, love. Look at this. You're not wrong. You are not wrong. Are those alien birds of some form? Oh, I can't grab onto them with my telekinesis. Well, oh, they are coming down here. What are they? My little flying pigs. I can't telekinesis anything up there and hit them. Up you go. Hop. No, apparently not. This one. Hop. Oh, they've gone. So it's maybe trying not to murder the indigenous wildlife. Ooh, dead bodies. Wonder if you could have teleported up these steps if you didn't choose the. Uh... I have superpowers. All you glowy rocks are under my command. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh no, the bodies float too. Looks like he's dancing. <laughs> it does look like he's dancing. You are not wrong. Oh god, I'm so sorry, Mr. Dead Guy. Oh, that's class. <laughs> I am mad with power. <laughs> Come here, let's just get a closer look at you first. So they are very humanoid in appearance, aren't they? Let's just drop you there for the moment. Five fingers, it's always a good, good guess. Five fingers, very humanoid looking skull. Or human, not humanoid. Obviously they're very humanoid as well, but they look very human-like, don't they? Dance for me, puppet. Dance. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. No, I just have a just a little bit of a sleep. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. I could I could do this for a while. Play that for nothing. Ooh. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Ended up right next to me. Da 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 da! Da 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 da! He looks kind of angry at the fact I'm doing this, doesn't he? Alright, last one. Just because it's quite fun. 
Where is he gone? Oh, there he is. Woo! Some people don't need to fly. They can just scoot over the ground. Huda! Uh, 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 ah! Ah, uh, he's gone. He is gone forever. Okay, so this door over here, I'm guessing, is... Just kind of help myself. I'm guessing it's locked. That appears to be locked. That's fine. I'm so glad that Chloe pointed out that the pillars move, or the bodies move as well. That made my little day. Oh. <laughs> uh, it's kind of cruel, I guess. Oh, so it wasn't... There we go. Oh, I see. Okay, don't touch those. I thought I had to go through those. Don't touch those. There we go. Hello? What are you? Are you wearing a hat? You appear to be wearing a hat. Off you go then. Well, there's another body. Are you having anything useful you want to share with the group? That is, that is just too much fun. Oh, hello. My friend Hermie. Is that Hermie over there? Can we put this in our bag? No. Alright. So it looks very much like these two have got to be... Ooh. But this, on the other hand, surely this goes in our bag. Reach over and pull over your shoulder and trigger bring your backpack. Put important items in the backpack by putting them in and pressing the trigger again. Quick stash items by simply putting it over your shoulder and pressing the trigger. Sweet. Okay, so this and this look like they go together. That's obviously not what's supposed to happen. Do we need it? Nope. All right, then. Uh, what I should do, I guess, is just reset the... Recenter the view a little bit. Because it does seem to think I'm in a slightly odd place. Okay. Huh. Perfect. Smashed it out the park, son. So I'm not too sure what the beginning actually meant. It looked like we were imprisoned by the... Sometimes when you clip, clip the wall, it looks like we were imprisoned by the weird alien creature. Probably the door. What are you looking at over here? I don't know. Okay, what's in these boxes? Uh. Uh. This one's tricky. Okay. So tricky to see where the little bolt is from. Above. Hello. Oh. Okay, just, nope, mate, just, oh, oh god. Can I not just grab it? I don't think I can. I assume it's too heavy to grab. Just stay there. Stay there. Oh my god. Definitely can't grab it, it just freaks out. Okay, so let's go check out. Ah, hang on. Get out of there. Get out of there. Don't be stuck. Come here. Come here. Yeah. 
Yeah. Ooh. Made a proper little camp for herself, didn't she? These little rascals will steal anything. Keep an eye on your shoes. Speedy little dude. Protective under shell. Poop shoot. They're adorable. Levitate certain objects. Projectile how. Control over those who follow. What did he mean by that? He said to find his grasp machine in the Tower of Coes. Coos? Cods? Objects contain ore, same ore, or cuboid. Sidearm actu actuates palm gear, made of some sort of metal. The grasp. Can I not unfold that? Okay. Remember. What is that? Don't really know. I think she's just using that for light. Tape, 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 tape. Thank you. Home sweet home. Well, that's here. That's this. Okay. Who is he? Said this was his home world. Had glowing eyes, possibly radiation. Hiding something under his mask. Seems really angry. Exceptionally bold, super old, and has veins. You and Alex will be enough power to reach home. What does that mean? So, I'm Alex, obviously. Which I completely remembered. And he obviously mentioned me. That's not supposed to exist, is it? Look at that. That's weird. Obviously mentioned me to uh, Chloe. So let's get this one. Almost. Almost. Nope. There we go. Okay. Oh. Oh, what just happened? Starseed and Cullen Grounds. Tower of Cogs. Queen's Palace. Their planet is messed right up. Look at that. That is not what a planet should look like. If your planet looks like that, you're in trouble. So I'm guessing this is us. Right here. So is this saying that we can just travel over here? What is happening? Transport. What is going on? That's very close to what I said. What is going on? Hello. You're the transport? I'm assuming that's the case. He seems friendly. Hello, mate. Ah, oh, I'd enjoyed the actual ride, I think, with him. That would have been quite fun. kind of brought us back to the screen of him holding us for some reason.
Oh, we do get to ride him. That's so cool. Hello, mate. I'll give you a little wave. You must be really old. What are you saying, Chloe? Can't see too much through the side. Just a lot of rock and dust, really, which seems to be pretty much what this planet's made of. Just rock and dust. Not rocking dust like that. Dust is sweet, mate. It's banging. It's rocking, that is. Just rocks. Just, just rocks. Just boring rocks everywhere. Unusual is how I describe it. Unusual. So is anywhere else? Nowhere else has appeared on the map, is it? No. Okay. Okay, so over here we have another cassette, and I'm sure this is what keeps our progress. Holy smokes. Drop that in there. And the compass. What does it point to, though? That's the question. What does it point to? Oh. Really assumed that was actually going to be an important item. I went to my hand there. That was weird. So we have a lot of cogs around, which is kind of weird. Wouldn't have expected that in the Tower of Cogs. Bit unusual. What's that out oh, there? Is that Matey Jim? No. What is that? Don't know. Oh, almost fell over. God. Oh, picture. Think fast. Can't keep those. Let's just pop that. That's perfect. That's exactly what I want. Okay. Oh, okay. No. Oh, my God. Square. Triangle. One of them, circle, one of them, triangle, square. Oh my god, no. You, triangle. Yeah. Smashed it, mate, smashed it. Hello. Oh, hello. If anyone is here, please don't kill me. Fair request. No one wants that. Okay, well, I guess we're going forwards. Same, same deal? Same deal. Okay. Square. Circle. Pac-Man. Triangle. Pac-Man. Circle. Well, arrow more than a triangle. Thanks, Pac-Man. Very useful of you. Oh, oh hello. This is what happens when you don't have building regulations. What happened to you? And who's that? That's an important Hello? question. Hey, hey you. Oh, of course. He's a hologram. He's a hologram. And does he remind me of the evil chap that locked us? Gave us the hand? I don't know. The left arm, I thought did, but I think it's just because it appears to be broken more than anything. What is that? What is that amazing looking thing? One of these things. I feel like this is something that's supposed to be actually useful, but I can't... Damn it! It is useful! Wizgog Chamber. I began experimenting on William, my test gog. When he proved to be the strongest of his gang, William is a small specimen, but he possesses an intense desire to survive, a trait I deeply admire. I have spent endless cycles trying to force William into a state of simple obedience, but he will not break. 
All forms of extreme pain conditioning seem to be ineffective on these creatures. Nothing, it seems, pierces their unfettered drive to feed. Of note is that while Wizgogs are impossibly dumb, they appear to be fiercely loyal. One shout from a gog will cause his gang to flock to the cry. This has been useful. I have used the gog flocking behaviour to my advantage while testing my first generation reach ballistic upgrade. Activate the chamber to force a call from my pet and summon his gang from their cliffside nests. Even in the face of death, William's gang refuses to leave him behind. A curious gog weakness. I am kind of annoyed, to be honest. That, uh, that I missed those previous ones. We missed like three of them, didn't we? That is frustrating to the max. To the max. Grasp and I'm gone. Zoo. That's gone in the backpack. Oh, poor thing. Hey, William. Oh, touching your eye. Touching your eye. Don't touch this. Never touch that. Wizgogs, insatiable hunger, impossible to control. Pull this. There's nothing to pull. Am I supposed to put something in it? Oh, other hand, I see. I've no idea what this is doing. Oh. Oh. There we go. Any others? I don't think so. Okay. Okay. So that does that for some reason. That's a thing. It's a thing that exists. We have another tape. Scary weirdo guy. Excellent. And we have another interesting book. Oh. Oh, what's that? That's that's my couch. Notes on security. It seems that one of Sarah's attendants has infiltrated my group of noble creators and has been tampering with my study door lock. This tower, by design, is far too open to be locked down in any significant manner. I must create a more specific deterrent to keep my study safe. To this end, I have installed a layer of security over my study lock, one that only my grasp may bypass. Only one with the grasp may counter the power fluctuations coming from the lock's hidden energy source. I admit that this added measure is not a foolproof design, but it will work for the short time we require. My device ensures devastating results to anyone foolish enough to attempt a breach. I admit I am curious to discover who this infiltrator might be. While I generally abhor violence in the tower, no one should be touching my things and I will keep my sister ignorant to my most fragile plans, no matter the cost. Yeah, really annoyed I missed those first ones. I'll either have to go back and start it again just to read them, well, that's the dude. So obviously they brought humans here for some reason. Not entirely sure why. So that's something the grasp needs to do. I mean... I have a grasp. Let me in. Okay. Not going to be as simple as that then, is it? I'm assuming I can't just spin this around. Well, I can, but it doesn't really help much. That's fine. Okay, so we have a control device over here we can use. Oh, poor little William. What a weird, weird creature. Did I read both of these? I don't think I did, did I? Notes on the Reach. Sarah says that she is not cruel like Mother and has gone to great lengths to appeal to the mob. It will not work. My sister refused the projectile enhancement to her gauntlet in a foolhardy attempt to appear approachable or to be loved. In her need for adoration, in her weakness, I find opportunity. 
I have simulated the offensive capabilities of the gauntlet in my designs for the grasp. Once enhanced, pull back the focus and iron on the device, aim, and release the built-up energy. Once fired, a powerful projectile will emanate from this device, destroying everything in its path. How foolish Sarah was to leave that power behind in the underlayer. She still fails to understand the nature of the mob. Those idiots live to be controlled, and only in that state of control do they find contentment. Sarah will discover the folly of her ways soon enough, when the mob chooses a new power to lead them. Hmm. Interesting. Square. Triangle. Hexagon. Ah, crap. Hexagon. Circle. Plus. Line. Line. Ah. Square. Triangle. Hexagon. Circle. Plus. Line. Line. Yeah, got it that time. Oh. But the door is closed. No, it's not. Okay, before we go in there, I'm just going to try... I don't know. Just walking up to this door, open it. Now, that'd be stupid. Maybe... Why is that still there? Why is that now broken? Oh, it's not, is it? It just uses the, the different buttons what I'd expect. Just shooting the door do it? No. And shooting that definitely doesn't. No. Shooting a silly picture? Nope. No. No. Okay. Well, let's leave that for now then. Oh. Don't touch this. Damned whiskers. Your existence is infuriating. How do you even survive in this food chain? Oh god. Not one. Oh, come on. Yes. Okay, well, I'm not really sure what purpose this is serving. I'm assuming if we turn this off... Oh, we can't. That's just on now. Oh, sorry, William. I appear to have doomed you to a lifetime of intoxicating pain. Intoxicating pain? What a weird way of framing it. There do seem to be fewer of them around. I'm guessing that they are limited in number. Ooh, that's close. That was also fairly close. Oh. There should be one more, I think. There he is. Oh, come on. Yes. Oh my god. All right. Who's that beast? I do hope this is what you're supposed to do. Coming back down? No? 
Okay, well, uh, don't mind part in wiping out a species, I guess. Why do I need to do any more? Let's move on. What is that? Okay. Oh, we're going to have to stop fairly soon. Hopefully there'll be a cassette in here. Let's just go there then. There must be a way to charge this. I say conveniently under my breath. So if she charged it, why have I got to charge it again? That's my question. She's already charged it. Why isn't it still charged? Why does it not remain charged? There's no cassette in here, is there? Not that I can see. That's a little frustrating. So I think I'm going to have to stop here, so I might just have to carry on from where I left off. I think next time. The Graft version 4 plus Reach. Starseed Whitestone Mother's Hand. Why can I hear creatures? Okay, so I am going to leave that there. Oh, let's have a little bit of a read of her. Thing for us. There's definitely no tapes around. No, there is not. I can see. All right, no worries. We won't have to go very far back. Just I think basically kill the uh, flying things again. I think that's what we have to do. Fill her up with juice. It's a big old battery. Near Beaver Fever Lady. Same. Match the symbols. Goes right into it. Super glowy when it's on. Connected to the Ember Engine. Play the song. Play the song connected to the Ember Engine. Lots of noise around. Something's going on. Alright then, so that's what we're going to do next time then. We are going to... Actually, we're not going to do something. We're going to charge up that device. Emergency Flow Spark plus locations. Backup Flow... Flow sparks and aquifer and reformer power to open and retrieve. Don't know what that means. I thought that moved. What's that? It's like a little, little bug of some form. It's like another hermit crab that's taken that mechanical thing as its shell, I guess. Yeah. All right, that's cool. I like that. All right then, so I'm going to leave that there then. I hope you've enjoyed this next part of the gallery. Already forgot what it's called. Blow of the Emberstone. Forge of the Emberstone. Something of the Emberstone. First one was Call of the Starseed. Is it Call of the Emberstone, maybe? Maybe it is. Something to do with the Emberstone. So, I hope you've enjoyed this. I really have. I really enjoyed the first one. It was quite short. I can't remember how much I paid for the first one now, but certainly if it was full price, or around like, the 20-odd quid this one was... It was probably a bit in the expensive range. I'm hoping this was going to be a little bit longer. I'm really hoping that's going to be the case. So next time, I think I'll probably start back out there. So I'll destroy the big old flying thing again. And then I'll come in here and we'll read all these lovely little books. I will also try and catch up on the ones that I missed in the beginning of this video that I completely ignored and didn't figure out they were actually a thing, which is very frustrating. And if they're anything particularly important or useful, I will record it. Hello, dude. I'll record it and put it in the video for you guys to see as well. They do get, they're very well at protecting themselves, aren't they? Look at that. So cool. So if you did enjoy this, please do click the like button. As always, that is really, really appreciated. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And of course, leave any comments down below. Let me know what you thought of the last Call of the Starseed, which was the gallery episode one or part one. If you watched my series, or if you played it yourself, let me know what you thought of that. Let me know what you think of this so far. So far, it seems really interesting, and I'm really enjoying it, and I'm very intrigued to see where it goes. Peace. So I will see you in that next time. Don't forget, of course, I'll be streaming Wednesday at 6 p.m. It will once again be Farming Simulator for this week, for the third time. Next week, I'll be doing something a bit different, something a bit more Halloween-y. It'll be the day after Halloween, but it's close enough. So I'm planning at the moment on doing Alien Isolation uh, in VR, but that depends on whether I can get the VR chat screen working. But that's another thing. So that'll be something different. So if you do want to come along to that and say hello, please do. 
If you don't enjoy Farming Simulator, just come along and say hello anyway and keep me company whilst I play. That would be awesome. Otherwise, I shall see you next time in the gallery. Thank you very much for joining me.